Look at how sharp this car looks from this angle. Welcome back to another episode of Broke Mirror, guys. Uh, sorry about last week. I'm still kind of getting through that thing that's going around kind of the whole US right now. Still working through it, starting to feel a lot better. Still have a little bit of a scratchy throat, so sorry if I sound a little weird. But if you've been here, then you know that we've been working on my 2011 Kia Forte that I picked up for $1,750. In the last episode I was on here, I ended up fixing all the paint that I showed you, and it really did come out just absolutely amazing, just with a couple of spray cans. I mean, even this blend, I ended up buffing the whole side to put on the new handles that were painted. And you can kind of see like, it is so close now to the other paint. And for those of you that don't know, this was painted before me. This is orange, this is more red. It's, it's just slightly different, but it looks so good now that I buffed it. You can barely tell a transition. And then once the black strip is back in here, you won't even notice that there's a difference between the two. But right now, what I would like to do is to finish dry washing this car all the way around. And then I wanna start wet sanding the roof. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bunch of little trash all through the paint. The dust was kind of kicking up when I was painting this, but I'm gonna to try to wet sand it with 2000 grit. If it works, I'm gonna move up to 3000 grit, then probably 5000 grit, then buff it out. If it doesn't work, I'll probably move down to 1500 and maybe even 1200 to get the trash out. I don't think I'm gonna to have to go that hard. I don't think this paint is that hard. So I think 2000 grit is gonna be right on the money. I'm also gonna do it up here. I think I might even start with a 3000 here on the blend line, kind of where I taped off and see if it takes it up. If it doesn't, then I'll move down to 2000. Anyway, so I'm gonna get started. See you guys in a bit. It's the next day. I ended up wet sanding everything down. Uh, on the hood, I started with like 2,000, then I went all the way back down to 1,200, then back up to 2,000, then to 3,000, then to 5,000. On the roof, I did the same. I think I got a, I started with 1,200 and brought it all the way up to 5,000. On the back bumper, I ended up doing like 1,000 because it was really gritty, really coarse, and that really helped knock it down quick. I wish I had done 1,000 on all of them and then moved my way up. It would have been a much faster process. It took me, I think, six hours to send all that yesterday. It was crazy my arms were killing me but right now what I would like to do is to move on to buffing this thing shining it all up and then polishing it as well so I'm gonna get after it see you guys in a bit Okay, all 
of the buffing is done. Five hours of buffing. This task is not an easy one. And for those of you that are like as OCD as I am, I told you about that spot blender in the last paint episode and it came out pretty good and I can kind of see it. I know where it is. I don't think anyone walking up to the car is even gonna notice it, to be completely honest. But if you're as OCD as I am, I would say you probably need a real spot blender from a spray gun to make this perfect because there is a slight line and I realized by looking at the can, it's a 1K clear. So I think all this is is a light clear coat compared to a clear coat with a hardener in it. So I think that's the only difference. I went from hard to semi-hard to the normal clear coat and it's just kind of a fill layer. The hood still came out good, it still looks very very good. The roof came out amazing. I am going to say for as much work as I did to try to get this trash out, I think I would do what others do and just buff it almost immediately and try to wipe out as much trash as I can and whatever's there stays. But I definitely don't think it was worth for me to let it dry, let it cure, sand it down and then buff it and waste two days, three days to get to this point. But with that said, the rest of the car does look good. The back corner, I think it was definitely the way to go to sand and buff it. Came out really good. So. What I would like to do right now is to actually peel off all the tape, kind of wipe this down a little bit, and then I want to start tackling this plastic to get it back to black, and then probably spray paint the windshield wiper arms because they're looking pretty rough. So I'm gonna have to clean these up a bit, spray them down again nice like I did the Tucson, and then reinstall them. I'll probably install them tomorrow after they got a couple good coats. But anyway, that's my goal. I'm gonna get after it. So the arms are drying right now. They're still pretty wet. I put on a thick coat. I didn't mean to put it on so thick. I just couldn't really see. What I want to do next is to start installing things back on the car. So I want to install the trim. I want to put the headlights back in. I want to put the door handles on the passenger side back on. And then I also want to put the door trims back on these doors and have the doors complete. That's the goal. Kind of see how far we get, but I'm gonna get after it. Everything is back on the car. Well, almost everything. In fact, that's what I want to do next. I want to fix the license plate holder and install the license plates back on the car. And then hopefully by the time I'm done with those, these arms will be dry. I threw another coat on them. But 
Whenever this car was hit, it kind of destroyed the license plate holder. So when the license plate used to be on, it used to be tilted up kind of like that. It looked ridiculous. You can kind of see why rip the plastic everywhere. So I just want to kind of bend this, try to get the license plate to look a little more normal on there, throw on the back one. And then you guys missed it because it was off camera. But while I was shaking the new can to spray on these arms, I put a brand new dent right in the front dead center of the hood, right where I just painted everything. <laughs> that really bummed me out. Anyway, I'm going to get after putting the license plate plates on and then hopefully get the chance to throw these arms back on. So yeah, I'm going to start with the license plate. See you in a bit. All right guys, so everything is done, at least as far as the exterior, everything looks awesome. Uh, check this out. Look at how sharp this car looks from this angle. Like if you remember guys, this headlight was all yellow. This was all bland. The chip of the paint was here. There was a scuff mark down here and now it's all buffed. Really makes this car look pretty dang sharp. I ended up installing the windshield wipers. They came out awesome. All the trims back on, got the license plates on and finally they look a little level instead of tilted like this out, all coming together. So the whole body is done now, as far as the exterior, even some of the interior trim panels. Next episode, I definitely want to tackle some of the interior. Front seats look pretty good. The back seats are perfect. I don't have to touch them. The front seats, I would like to give a little cleaning. It is almost a white interior, so you do see some of the stainage, even though it's not much. But I wanna clean up, I wanna make sure it looks sharp. So I think I'll probably be able to finish this car next week, but I do think that is gonna wrap up this episode of Broken Mirror. I did put this video right here that I think you guys are probably gonna enjoy, but until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful first of your week, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.